The Titan is the single strongest unit you have at your disposal in Age of Mythology. No other unit can rival it one on one. But how strong is a Titan really? That's what we'll be covering in this video, so when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Titan is a myth unit that has 7,000 life points with 90% hack and pierce armor and 95% crush armor. It has a base attack of 70 hack and crush which means it's good against units and extremely good against buildings. The Titan does actually benefit from some upgrades but these upgrades are limited to certain gods and civilizations. All of them are on screen now. As you can see, if you can recognize the god names, the Greek have a massive advantage, increasing the hit points by 5% and increasing the attack by 25%. On top of that, the Greeks can build their titan extremely quickly thanks to the Divine Blood technology given that you pick Aphrodite for your heroic age, which is only possible with Hades and Poseidon. Divine Blood reduces the time taken to build the titan gate from 182 seconds, so over 3 minutes, down to 160 seconds with 20 villagers. That is a noticeable increase in build time. Versus each other max upgraded, these titans will all be destroyed by the Greek titan simply because of its increased attack and health. Even the Atlantean titan that is able to regenerate its health by 2 HP per second doesn't stand a chance against 25% more attack and 5% more hit points. The difference in stats is so significant that the Greek Titan is left on 749 HP after killing the Norse and Egyptian Titan. If you were to grab 4 Greek Titans with the upgrades versus 5 Norse Titans so they're outnumbered by 1 extra Titan, they would still win. That's how big that upgrade is. As for no upgrades versus the Atlantean Titan with health regen, of course the Atlantean Titan is going to beat the Greek Titan, simply because it's regening its health mid-fight. The Norse Titan has a speed upgrade called Thurisaz that increases its speed by 12%, allowing it to catch other Titans while moving, meaning you can't really kite it that well. For those unaware, Titans cannot be transported and they cannot move through water. So if you're playing on an island's map, you might want to reconsider where you're going to place your Titan gate if you're going to be using a Titan at all. A Titan can attack ships, given that they're close enough to shore. If they aren't close to shore, the Titan will not be able to attack them. That being said, if you aren't micromanaging your ships, the Titan can simply kite the ships to shore and then finish them off. As for gold powers, let's quickly go over those. Bolt works on the Titan and will deal 1250 damage. Lightning Storm will work very well on the Titan given that it's standing still and there are no other units around. If this is the case, it will deal 2200 damage against the Titan, a significant part of its health. As for Egyptian god powers, Meteor does work but isn't very effective as it's best used against buildings. As for Tornado, it doesn't even deal damage to the Titan. As for Frost from the Norse god powers, you can't even use it unless there are other units around. Once you use it with the other units around, it will not work on the Titan, it will only work on the units within the area. As for the Nidhogg, it is of course good against the Titan because the Titan cannot fight back, but it doesn't really deal that much damage. As for Atlantean god powers, Traitor doesn't work, Chaos doesn't work, Vortex doesn't work, you can't move your Titan to another area, and Implode doesn't seem to deal any damage against the Titan. As for the Tatarian Gate, well, it's not very effective against the Titan, obviously. You could have seen this one coming. As for Chinese god powers, Geyser does not work even when you lure the Titan over the geysers, it doesn't work. The Great Flood, which is a very good god power against building, doesn't seem to do much against the Titan apart from forcing it away from its initial position, given that it isn't micromanaged. The Earth Dragon is a tough little boy, but it doesn't do much against the Titan. And funnily enough, the Titan can move it from its initial position. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but um, that's quite funny. Inferno seems to be the most effective god power against the Titan from the Chinese as it almost deals 1250 damage and it's an area of effect god power. The Titan's area of effect with its normal attack seems to be one house to the left and right and two layers of houses in front of it given that it is attacking the house you can see on screen. Now of course not every building is going to be as small as a house but that should give you a general idea of how big the area of effect is. 
Now here's an image showing you the spread in terms of raw damage output. As you can see, the main target was destroyed instantly by the Titan, dealing 450 damage. Now for whatever reason, the left side of the main target and up took more damage than the right side of the main target and up, but then the right side next to the Titan, so the green box, took more damage than left of the Titan. Not really sure, maybe it has to do with like tiny boxes or tiles of distance. I tried it a few times, but it kept giving me the same results. I did test this with units as well, and the results switched around. So I believe it does have to do with the actual distance between the targets. Now we all know how heroes are good against myth units, and titans are considered myth units. So I decided to grab every single hero from Poseidon and face them off against the titan. It's safe to say they did a very good job as they brought the titan down to around half HP by themselves. Very impressive. If you grab Hades, Poseidons, and Zeus's heroes, and you combine them all in one big army, they will give a Titan a good beating, and it will go down. And by the way, these heroes do have four upgrades, so without the upgrades, they would maybe struggle a little bit more, but I still think they would take down the Titan. As for big tanky myth units, I decided to test the Titan versus 10 gold colossi, and the results were fairly interesting. I thought the Colossi would get the Titan down, but to my surprise, they did not. They got the Titan to around 4,360 life points, which isn't even halfway through its health bar. What about 10 Chimera or Chimera Tyrants then? Well, they did better, but they didn't get the Titan down to half HP. But getting a Titan down to 3,890 life points isn't too shabby. At least in my opinion, for 10 myth units, that's fairly good. How does a Titan fare against a decent mythic age army consisting of 5 gold colossi, Elder Cyclopses, some heroes, 12 Toxotas, and 12 Hoplites. I believe this is a realistic army, of course you could grab a bunch of different compositions, different units, you could switch them out in terms of numbers as well, but at the end of the day, this is a decent comparison of what a Mythic Age army would be able to do against a Titan, and it is able to take it down with some losses. Now, other civilizations would have a similar result, especially if you use units that are good against Myth units, in this case the Titan, for example, if you grab an Atlantean army with a bunch of heroes. The Arcus hero version has a 7x damage bonus against myth units, and for that reason, it is a very good unit against the Titan. In fact, I do believe the Atlanteans are the best prepared faction to fight against Titans, simply because they have a lot of units that can be turned into hero units. And that's not really a surprise, since this is the faction that came alongside the Titans expansion. In fact, one Mermillo and 24 Arcus heroes will take down a Titan by themselves, given that you kite the Titan a little bit using your Arcus heroes. But of course, the Titan is best used for attacking buildings, including wonders and town centers, as it will absolutely demolish them without issues. Of course, you will need a support army to support your Titan in case it is attacked by units, because the best defense against the Titan is an army filled with units, including archers and heroes. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next Age of Mythology video. Peace.